In this series, I will be pack battling a fellow YouTuber. Each player will have $100 to spend on 12 packs of their choice. The total value will be tallied up and the person with the most value at the end wins. But here's the twist. After both players open two packs, each player spins a wheel. The wheel consists of good, bad, and neutral actions, but you never know what is coming. Will the wheel cause pack opening mayhem? Find out now on this episode of Battle Wheel. All right, we just have just around $100 of booster packs here. So, starting off with three Evolving Skies packs. Of course, Evolving Skies is one of the best sets from the Sword Shield era. Then we have Crown Zenith, the newest release, which is definitely a banger because of those gallery cards that you can pull. Brain Stars, also a no-brainer. Point rates are really high. Points are really high for both of these two, uh, but you can get specifically the Charizard here, the Arceus Alt Arts, etc. Got a Silver Tempest thrown in there for that Alt Art Lugia. Cosmic Eclipse going up on the higher end price-wise, but you can get a really nice tag team card out of that. Shining Legends going up even higher. With this pack, you get some really, really cool shiny cards. Mewtwo, uh, Test Tube Mewtwo. And the Champion's Path is an all or nothing pack because you're either gonna get the shiny Charizard or you're gonna get nothing. And that's my lineup. We actually saved a bunch of Tactical Masters. I didn't realize this until recently, but these are probably gonna be a few of the packs that we grab because they have crazy potential. But as you know, they're collector rare sets, so we could get absolutely nothing out of them. So I don't want this to be all 12 of my packs, but I'm gonna grab a couple of these for sure. Got a few other options here. Look, more Tactical Masters. There's an OTS pack that could be pretty cool. Maybe we pull an Ultimate Rare. We have these War of the Giants blisters that we bought a while back. I mean, these are kind of cool. I don't think they're really value for this opening, so probably not there. I've got like some Duelist pack, you say two. I mean, that's all right. I don't know about that either. Uh, maybe some movie pack? No, probably not. What about this? Synchro Storm, Grand Creators. I mean, that's not terrible. It's collector rare though. You need something better than that. I haven't been over here in a while. Someone gave me a Korean Air Neos at some point. That is pretty sick. I didn't realize that. Mention Force. Okay, we've got Tournament Pack 19. That might be, oh, fa Fist of the Gadgets, baby. That's what we want to pick up. And then look, another movie pack. Maybe we could grab a Spell Ruler Blister. Seems expensive. Probably not worth it. Um, okay, anything else back here? Legendary Duel of Synchro Storm Light. That's probably not the play. All right, we have a few other things. We have a Legend of Blue Eyes. So these are kind of expensive, these blisters right here, these old school ones. But maybe if I take them out and only open the actual pack, it'll save us some money. We've got, uh, I will probably open some Rage of Rock because there could get to be the Ghost Rare in there. Battles of Chaos, I think I have 12 packs left in there. We can do that. Hidden Summoners. We also have Ghosts from the Past 1. That's that's pretty nice. And then some more 10. So there's a lot of options here. I'm going to come back with what I actually picked in just a second. All right, for my $100, here are the packs I chose. So we have 12 packs here. My first was Dimension Force. This was a $2 pack. Very cheap. There's actually still a few decent cards in here. First of all, there's potential for Starlights. Then there's like a $4 Super Rare that we can pull. So I felt like okay. Main sets are kind of weird for this challenge. Then Tactical Masters. You guys know Tactical Masters has gotten hot recently. These are still only $3.50 decent pack so i grabbed two of those then we have a rage of raw that's a four dollar pack of course the ghost rare that's basically what we're looking for but then the the god slime or whatever is like 50 bucks we also got a couple of ghosts from the past make that three a whole mini box these were not too expensive they were about four dollars and fifty cents each so i got three of those ghost potential that's basically it we're just going for a home run there also i'm hoping that rev will think those are really good and maybe like use a you know a, a wheel spin on them you know sometimes if he lands on the right thing he might use it then we have a maximum gold El Dorado. this is about a six dollar pack a lot of decent stuff in there that we could pull so I think that's pretty solid overall. We got a couple of 2021 Mega Tens just because they have so much potential for like multiple value cards. I think they could add up and be pretty decent. Then our third most expensive pack was actually this pack, probably one of our worst value packs, but I had to, you know, $100 budget. You have 12 packs you could pick from. So I figured I'd use it on this. There's a few decent cards in here, like the alternative Mahad. We've got Dark Magician Girl, all that different stuff. So that's pretty good. Two packs left. One is the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. That, of course, you know, we're just going for a big card. I don't think the value of $16 for this is too good but it's just going to be fun and i he'll probably want to stop that or like negate that one if he gets that roll and then our most expensive pack coming in at about 27 bucks is legendary collection 2 but this is crazy value there's a lot of great stuff in here so feeling pretty good about having this one it's our best pack and i don't think he'll know that that's our best pack so we'll have to go and see that's our 100 dollars in packs let's see if we can beat rev in the first episode of this challenge this video is sponsored by jasco games Jasco Games has created the My Hero Academia CCG, which uses the Universus game system. This is a game that allows you to play with characters from various franchises in an all-out battle to see which are the greatest heroes and villains. 
Some of the included franchises are Street Fighter, Mega Man, Mortal Kombat, Cowboy Bebop, and Soul Calibur. I opened a League of Villains set, which is the fourth set in the My Hero Academia CCG from Jasco Games, which contained 24 packs featuring all the characters from the League of Villains, two quirk packs, which are special cards only available when buying sealed booster boxes, and it had a promo at the top as well. This set released on March 3rd, 2023, so it's brand new. Booster boxes are ideal for collectors, players, and fans of the My Hero Academia franchise. I pulled a ton of epic cards, but my two favorites were the League of Villains card because of the namesake of the set, and then the ultimate combination because it has all for one going ham against All Might. You can find sealed products and singles from the My Hero Academia CCG and other universes sets on TCG Player. And if you want to find local stores to play My Hero Academia, just check out the Universes Gaming Network. Link in the description. Thanks again to Jasco Games for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to open a cool new CCG. Welcome to the $100 challenge video where I do not know the name yet because that's how we do it on this channel, but I have Pokerev. We are doing a $100 challenge battle where we both took $100 and bought 12 different packs. And now we're going to be doing a little shenanigans with the opening. Pokerev, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like a winner this time. All right. This time, are you like still feeling like guess that price kind of like knocked you out? It wasn't too good. I, I'm here to win. I'm here to win. That's it. Last time wasn't a complete W. Okay, wasn't a complete. You did pretty well, but now we actually get to see a winner because there's going to be a price. There's going to be a winner and a loser in this video. There's no, you know, there's no both of us winning. We're not patting each other on the back. Mm -hmm. We're going for this thing. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's start off with our first couple of packs. Let's do it. You enjoying the video? If you are, you might be interested in a box yourself. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. And let me know in the comments how you feel about the new series and what you think we could change to make it better. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the first pack here and we're gonna alternate for the first couple of rounds till we get to our very first wheel spin. That's when it will get chaotic. So I'm gonna start off with a Dimension Force booster pack. This is my cheapest one. It was a $2 pack, but inside we could pull a Starlight Rare, which would turn the tides completely in my favor. I don't know if Rev would even have a chance at that point. So we'll have to find out. Here we go. We're starting it off Symphonic Warrior. This is gonna be fun because it's gonna be like like reactions from both sides. It's not like a pack battle where you don't really know until you watch the other person's video. We're gonna see immediately what we get. And I got a super rare, oh Ugh. no, and that's guaranteed in the set. So I'm pretty sure I pulled no value there. We're only counting cards that are over $1 in this battle and I definitely did not pull one right there. Rev, it's your turn. Let's see what you can do for pack one. All right, you gotta get the dollar. We're gonna start off here with the Pokemon booster packs. We're going with Evolving Skies. Um, just start off with a good set. You know, it's a good Sword and Shield set. It has a lot of really nice pulls, but there's no trainer gallery or anything like that, so it's kind of, it's kind of tough on the pull rates. But we're, we're, are we doing? I guess I'll do a pack trick. I don't know if you, if you. I'm doing pack trick, so go for it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll save the rare for last. We got Fletchling, uh, so we need at least a dollar, which. It's not the easiest thing to do. Flip baby, and that ain't a dollar. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. We're both starting slow. We're keeping it interesting. Evolving Skies, I got a little scared when I saw you had that because there are big time cards. I saw one of those cards sold for 12K in a black label. Big money, big money potential. Yeah. Next pack for me, I have a Tactical Masters. This is my last pack before we get into the wheel spin for the very first time. This set has gotten really hot thanks to YCS Vegas. There's a couple of big cards in here that we could pull. I'm hoping that it happens to us right now. Here we go. I found some of these packs. I didn't even know I had these packs, but I found them because we were doing this video. We have Senate Switch. We have Quick Booster, Compulse. Let's get something against Rev. Go on, Pendulum Fusion. We have a Runic Spelling, and we have a Labyrinth Barrage. Another super rare. So I am zero dollar value right now. It's not looking good. We're going with Crown Zenith for our second booster pack. Uh, the newest Pokemon set, but honestly, some people look at it as the best set from the Sword and Shield Hour. Some people look at it as one of the best sets. I look at it as a set that has a really good pull rate with some really nice artworks and the chance to get some big value cards, hopefully. But hopefully we don't get nothing. <laughs> okay, Sunkern, <laughs> we do. Please get nothing. Agron, that's pretty much nothing. Oh, is that, wait, was that at least a hollow? It was a hollow, but there's probably okay. a 0% shot that this is worth a dollar. Yeah, okay, yeah, but that's fine, that's fine. Because now we are getting to the interesting part of the show. We are spinning the wheel. Both of us get one wheel spin. There's some things that are good if you hit them, bad, there's some that are kind of neutral. They could go in either different direction. We really don't know until we do it right now. First spin, because I am the host, I get to spin first. It's probably better to go second anyway, but I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna spin, there are 10 different options here. Let's just go ahead and hit the wheel. It's spinning, what are we gonna get? I'm scared, roll something good. 
half my previous packs pulls well so guess what wheel half of zero is zero so that doesn't even matter i'm all good it's all good it's too early for that to matter now it's time to spin for pokey rev and see if he can pull something good to actually you know add some value because we're both at zero dollars right now let's do it all right get get some cheers over there rev wheel of fortune <laughs> all right wrong game wrong game but here we go it's rolling Oh, okay. You actually got something decent. You got add money value based on wheels. So we have a second wheel actually that we're going to spin anywhere from one to 10. Whatever you roll, you're adding that amount of dollars onto your value. So you're not going to have zero anymore. We're going to roll a mm. second wheel to see what you get. All right, let's do it. Okay. Money coming here. You didn't have to pull anything. Like it's just happening with the wheel. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be $5. So you're up to five. So you're up five nothing right now. And all you had to do was spin the wheel. That's it. I could do that all day. Are you kidding me? And you're Captain America out here. Let's move on to the next packs here. And let's see if I can make a comeback because I'm already behind on my own show, which makes sense because I suck at pack battles. Yeah, but you have very good luck. All right. My next pack, I grabbed a maximum gold El Dorado. Sometimes these gold sets can have some nice value inside. This was one of my more expensive packs. I think it was about six bucks, which is, you know, not too crazy, but it's also more than like my two dollar packs couple of gold rares guaranteed in here let's see if i can get that access code which would give us a huge a huge a huge lead huge. all right we have weather painter rainbow that is not good okay one of our gold rares is bad that's okay we have one more broken line come on uh ultra guys multi-seek and a twin twisters i don't think either of those are worth anything we have a oh an alternate art art little alternate art firewall dragon that maybe it's worth something i don't know but probably not but i'm probably still at zero all right all right all right yeah and we can i'll mention pack prices too so i think evolving skies packs are around seven dollars a pack now so they're getting up there it's kind of like a middle of the line price wise pack for the stack of packs that we have here but yeah let's see if we get an alternate artwork rayquaza or dragonite that'd be kind of wild like to get an all out of one of these uh you win if that happens it, it would be interesting hypno oh Oh, <laughs> nada. Okay, so uh, so far, this is this is just how it goes. Open in packs. You pull literally nothing most of the time. Here we go. Pack number four. We just need a little luck. I have a ghost from the past one pack, which I know, Rev, you're a little little bit familiar with this one. It's a yes. little bit of an all or nothing pack. It was only worth about $4.50. But if we do pull that dark magician, I'm going to be up like 600 to five. So I'll take that. Salvage. Here we go. We got a time thief bezel ship. Let's go. Time thief retrograde. There's only five cards in this pack. So the next card, I think, would, no, maybe it's the last card. I can't remember. So now. Avalon Dridus, maybe it's this one. Dragoonity Knight, Arebed Hair. That is not a good card either. I am still at zero dollars. We're four packs in. Rev, come on, just go ahead. Just it put me out of my misery at this point. I don't know, man. It's it's very close. It all comes down to the wheel spin. But we got Silver Tempest. This is like four dollar pack. So just going with packs that are most recent Sword and Shield sets, but have trainer galleries and stuff like that. So we get technically get like a double shot here of getting pulled so i don't know is that fair i opened like 200 of these and i did not get any of the good lugia so i've had bad luck with these yeah it's a hit or miss always more peko oh hey it's a hollow there's a chance maybe most of the hollows usually with pokemon i've noticed don't usually go for a dollar but maybe we'll have to see don't think anybody will give me a dollar for that one maybe if you sign it put poker rev on it they might do it i don't know then it'll be worth negative ten dollars negative ten okay that would be good then i'd be ahead all right that's pack number four that means we're back to the wheel and since i am in second place i'm gonna go ahead and spin first i really need something good because right now i'm at zero dollars i gotta pull something come on ruxin So far, the wheel has all of your value and, no and I have none. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Okay. I think we decided we don't want to do the ba like back to back same thing every time. So we're not going to let that happen where like I can't get the same thing twice. So I'm going to re-roll that because that's just not interesting if we keep rolling the same thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I can get this time. Your opponent spins the wheel again. You get two spins. I could be. Yeah, it could be. Good. Could be bad, right? I mean, if you roll two bad things, it'll be great, but yeah, I, I have a yeah. bad feeling about this. Okay. All right, so we're going for 
Two more wheel spins for Rev. He's already gotten all of his value off of the spin. So to back to back spins, here we go. So last time you got the one about adding value. So your next spin, you cannot get that. But the third spin, the extra spin, you could get that. Let's just throw that out there for the rule sake. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, spinning number two. Let's see what it get. It You can tell what it is and it takes forever to like actually pop up and say exactly what it is because it's landed, it's landed. What is it? Subtract value based on the wheel. <laughs> you got the opposite of what you got last time. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, all right. You're at five, I'm at zero. I just need you to roll at least a five so we can be tied. Here we go. This is just wheel central here. Come on, give him a high number. <laughs> give us the lead. We need negative points. No. Oh, come on. You got a four, dude. <laughs> You're up one to nothing right now. <laughs> getting a cheeseburger today. The dollar cheeseburger. A dollar? Where, where are you getting those these days? You might have to go back in time for that one. Mickey D's. Come on, man. Mickey D. Come on. They're like a dollar fifty now. I don't know. Maybe I got to move up to New Jersey. Maybe that's the key. All right. Next pack. Your, your next spin, I mean. Your right. final spin. This is your bonus spin. Let's bonus. see what I gave you. Because I... It really likes this one. Half previous pack pulls. Fortunately for us, we haven't pulled anything yet, so it doesn't do anything. All yeah. right, cool. So we're at $1 to $0 in this pack battle, but there's still eight packs to go. Um, I'm still in second, so I'm gonna go i I'm gonna go for the next pack. Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. I could pull the ghost right here. There's also an Egyptian God Slime, which is a $50 card. There's a couple of options that we could pull here. It's only a five card pack though. So I'm really hoping for some good value. We have a Genzo Lord. We got Mech Lord Army of Wazelle. Mech Lord Emperor Wazelle. And I got a Guardian Slime. Ultra <laughs> rare. This one could be worth something. I think it's close to a dollar. It's We're gonna have to be. look it up and find out. Get that it's, dollar. It's gonna be close. I might have tied the game up. Get the dollar. It looks like this card is $4.47. So I just took a little bit of a lead right there. It's a battle. All right, Rev. I'm up now. It's your turn. Go for your fifth pack. Let's see if you can pull something because so far I have the only pull with a dollar. So my next pack is actually one of the most valuable packs I have here. This pack is like $30. Ooh. It's really, really risky <laughs> and uh, it's probably not going to end well. Shining Legends. What's the most expensive card in here? Is it that like Mew Mewtwo thing? Yeah, the, well, people nickname it the Mewtube, Secret Rare. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the most expensive card. It's pretty risky, but the pull rates on the Shinies are pretty good. I feel like I got maybe like a one in five shot of pulling a Shiny. All right, we got Great Ball, uh, Sophical. So this is like another all or nothing set. Like we're just either going big or going home right here. There's nothing in the middle. We got an energy, like metal energy could be worth something actually. I got something, oh. a Raichu. That might be a dollar okay. or two. That might be a dollar or two. <laughs> you might be on the board officially having pulled something. All right, so here's the Raichu that we pulled. It looks like the market price has been tanking. Okay, perfect timing for that. <laughs> <laughs> Near mint, $2.78. We'll take it. <laughs> hey, t well, that's unfortunate because it's 2 is 78 is really not bad. You're like back in the game, and if it hadn't tanked, you'd probably be ahead right now. Yeah. All right, with that pack, it's getting really close. So you're like less than a dollar away. I need to pull something big right here. I have a 2021 Ten of Ancient Battles pack. This is a mega pack worth about seven bucks. I haven't gotten into anything as high level as your $30 pack, but... Uh, I only really have one pack that's in that range. Let's see if I can get something. This is guaranteed foils here. That there's multiple foils. I'm hoping that the secret rare in here is pretty nice. Light craft. We've got a super rare. That's nice. Okay, Fiendish Portrait. There are two supers in this set. Oh, a Tri Brigade, Ferajit, the Baron Blossom, Prismatic Secret Rare. I don't really know the value on this one, so we're gonna have to check that. A Maham, the Fairy Dragon, and a Virtual World, Kieran Lili. I don't think this is a very good pack. We'll have to check the Tri Brigade card. There is a chance it's close to a dollar, but the rest is not too good. All right, it looks like that card is $1.99 for the Tri Brigade Ferajit, so that's not bad. About a $2 card. I'm extending my lead, which is not that big, but I need every dollar I can get. We're about to win head to like the halftime of wheel spins and this could change everything all right rev we're halfway through it's time to spin the wheel again how are you feeling so far uh i'm feeling like you're gonna destroy me now i've lost all hope you've lost confidence you were so confident at the beginning i now have six dollars in value and it's crushed you it's destroyed me all right because rev you are in second place right now you're gonna get to spin first let's see what you could spin will it be good will it be bad there's some neutral ones on here that'd be interesting to see <sighs> Oh, oh wait, I think you rolled this last time, didn't you? The subtract value? No, you did it. You didn't roll it because you rolled your second one. <laughs> oh, your subtractive value again. <laughs> All right, spin it up, baby. Time to subtract, Rev. Let's see, one through 10, one through 10. Come on, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 
Oh, okay, nine, I'll take it. <laughs> you are going into the negatives. How does it feel? Feels like I knew this was happening. I already I predicted my downfall last uh, round. You did say that, that you were not confident. So you seemed like you knew this was happening. Uh, not a good roll for you. All right, my turn. Let's roll something good and just take a huge lead right here. Come on, halfway point. I need some wheel luck. Here we go. Oh, this could be interesting. Oh, interesting. We have the first neutral one, which is swap packs for the next round. So what's your top pack, Rev, right now? You're you're essentially swapping it with me. I have Ghost from the Past. So you're going to get all the pulls out of Ghost from the Past, and I'm going to get your top packs pulls. All right. Well, that was a big one. Brilliant stars. Brilliant stars. So that was a good swap for me, you're saying? I think I feel like this is going to be a really good one. I hope so, because I get all the value. And you are in second place right now, so it's your turn to go first. So go ahead and open my pack for me, sir. All right. This is for you. I'm going to make this one extra good. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. You were trying to win. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm rooting for you now, bro. <laughs> you got this. They're all on my side. That This feels like a regular pack battle when I'm facing Rhyme Style now. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> all right, here we go. Impotent. Star you, Riolu. Electivire. Oh my goodness, nothing. Is that two Electivires? Two Electivire. Reverse and a non hollow. Yeah, I didn't really get anything. So now I'm getting a little nervous because, like, Dark Magician could be pulled Ghost Rare. And if we do that, you're definitely out of the negatives at that point. So All right, that's fine. It could happen. You, you think I'm going to do it? Am I going to pull a Ghost Rare right now? You got this. You got this. I'm still rooting for you, even on this pack. <laughs> yeah, of course you are because you're going to get all the value. Okay. Here, Riding Dragon. Here we go. Round seven. Let's get a Ghost Rare. I mean, I kind of want one, but I kind of don't. It's kind of a tough call here <laughs> galaxy eye cypher x dragon that might actually be worth like over a dollar i might have just gotten you some value with that wheel spin okay this is almost a three dollar card which i wouldn't be excited for but now rev gets the two dollar and 96 cent value oh gosh all right well i guess i'm still ahead but it's it's you're getting closer to zero again all right luckily i have another brilliant stars pack ready to go and this one's for us and as the charizard pack artwork will we get a good hit today should i show the code card let's see maybe, maybe i'll show the back of it Oh, good sign. Okay. The black border. That means there's at least a hollow. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is our moment to come back. We have to dig out from below. Shroomish. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, not bad. Kingler oh, VMAX. We'll take it. Oh, a VMAX? That seems pretty good. It's, it's at least a dollar. A VMAX is only a dollar? Well, it's. Kingler, not true. That's fair. I mean, he's an OG though. All right, Kingler V Max. Do we have the dollar? Do we have the dollar? We have two dollars. Whoa, two dollars flat, huh? Yes. You know what that means, Rev? You are only 26 cents away from being at zero again. Yes, we're coming back. <laughs> Dig it out. Also, I'm pretty sure that we only went one pack last time and then spun the wheel, so we're a little bit off schedule, but that's okay. We'll just open a couple of packs in a row. No big deal. I need to pull something out of this 2021 10 of Ancient Battles. This one actually did well for us last time. We got a couple of bucks out of it. Let's see if we can get something even better. There's some decent cards in here, so I'm, I'm hoping that there's something good. I haven't pulled a lot today. I've just had better luck with the wheel versus Rev. We've got a super rare out emancipator seeker super rare win the wind channeler i don't think this is great we'll have to check a dogmatic fleur de lead the knighted that's pretty cool and a phantom knights of torrent scales all pretty good cards but last i checked they weren't money i'm gonna have to double check and see if we got anything worth a dollar right here all right none of that was worth anything for me so it's on to you you are making the slow but steady comeback we're doing crown zenith now four from the back on this okay so most of these sets that i selected have the chance at getting two pulls from a gallery and then like the main part of the set so the double banger odds maybe will help uh no it's just gonna crush our dreams with this hammer oh oh we got something oh yes <laughs> friends of sit oh. we might be in the pot in the in the positive now we might be good that i think you're in the positive that's got to be at least a dollar right well 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 friends oh, of sino oh baby Fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. Oh, uh, well, you know what I can tell you? We're not going to be friends after this. That's all I got to say, because this is ridiculous. Oh, man. OK, because I think we messed it up earlier, we have to open one more pack for the next wheel spin. So I'm going to go. This is my best pack. So this is what I needed after that assault of fourteen dollars right there. Legendary Collection 2 Dual Academy Years. This one has a good chance of pulling 
multiple decent cards. So let's just see if we can do it. Come on, Cyclone Blader. We've got an Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. I really need something good. A Destiny Hero Diamond Dude could be worth money. I'm not sure this could be a secret rare next. A Gladiator Beast Bestiary. I know that one's worth money. That's decent. Okay, that's good. We've got a card blocker. I think that one sucks. That's not great. Gladiator Proving Ground could be worth something as a regular rare. And then any decent commons in here, E-Emergency Call. I'm going to check that one, but I don't think it's a dollar anymore. That's going to at least give us some value and give us a chance to come back here. All right, so two of the cards in that pack were worth money. The E-Emergency Call was $1.30 as a common, which is insane. And then the Gladiator Beast Best ER was $5.12, which adds up to a total that may or may not give us the lead. I have a 15 cent lead, so that means Rev gets to roll first because he's in second. Let's see if he can roll something good. Unreal. It's a close game. It could be big. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Subtract money value based on the win. He's got that three times. Wait, did you get that last time? I want to recount. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you rolled that last time. So we're going to reroll. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the last one you rolled that. I'm just going to reroll it. You've rolled it too many times. Let's see what the next one is. Your opponent spins the wheel again! Yeah! <laughs> so that means I get to spin twice. All yeah. right! Actually, yes, it could be good. Go ahead. My turn. Let's see what I could roll. I've got two spins here. This is my first one. It is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Not that! Oh, it escaped! Yes! <laughs> it was borderline gonna half my last pack, which is my best pack yet. And then it went to add value based on wheel instead. <laughs> All right, time to add some value. Let's roll. How much money are we gonna add? Let's add to that 15 cent lead. We have, oh, keep going, keep on going, oh, keep on thing. going. Is that $8 I see that we're gonna add? Eight bucks? We're back in the driver's seat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Easy. All right, time for my second wheel spin. Let's see, will it be negative? Will it be positive? We're about to have to find out. Oh no, oh, oh no, please not that, not that, please not that, no, negate your next pack's pulls, oh no, whatever I pull will count as zero, so we still have to open it up and see what I would have gotten, but oh no, all right, Rev, it's your turn to open up, you go first because you're in second, but my next pack's gonna count for zero. Okay, that's cool, yep, all right, we're, we're doing Cosmic Eclipse now, <laughs> we're, we're digging out the big guns, you think we can pull the Blastoise Piplup? Yeah, do it, do you it. You think so? Okay, all right, I'll just pull it? You won't. All right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I, I've got zero zero pack here, so okay. I mean, if you pull that, you're in good shape. Well, there's a good chance that there's nothing in here unless they messed up. Please mess unless, up. Unless, unless, uh, nothing. Okay, they they didn't mess up, but you know, fortunately for you, that zero is not gonna matter. I also have zero, so it's not gonna be a, a huge deal. Uh, whatever I pull, we got a marsh macaron. Okay, secret. <sighs> Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! That would have been like six bucks! Dad gum it, that sucks. Alright, Buster Gundil. Alright, we got Roxy. a magical contract. Yeah, this this hurts, man. And then a Cubic King. So that was like a six dollar pack, which would have been my best yet. I think maybe we're tied, something like that. Okay, alright. I still got the lead though. Your turn. Open one more, then we go into the final wheel spins, and then we have the last two packs. Perfect. Okay, good. Because I have Champion's Path. And this was this is all or nothing right here. All or oh, nothing. Oh, don't pull that Charizard. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Shiny or rainbow Charizard or nothing. Here we go. Most likely there's a Charizard. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I was going to say most likely there's nothing. We got we to gotta be positive right now if we're going to win this thing. Purloin, Machop, Zygarde, Lucario V. Oh. Not bad. Hey, you've gotten a lot of hits, even though they haven't been crazy value. You've got like a decent amount of them. All right, Lucario V, we got a little bit of value. We got about, what, like $1.75? Okay, that's pretty solid. That's not bad at all. It's a little something, something. All right, I got one more pack before the final wheel spin. Let's see, Ghost from the Past. Will I pull a Ghost Rare? This was scary last time because you could have stolen my Ghost Rare, which would have been scary. Sunvine Healer. We have a Time Thief Flyback. Heals and Rue. And finally, will it be a Ghost Rare? No, Vampire Voivode or something. I don't know how to say that. That was worth zero. So let's just go into the wheel spins. That was nothing. Okay, our final two wheel spins. This could change everything because I'm up about six bucks right now, which is not a lot. He could even roll to like gain more than that. So you're in second rev. I'm rolling it for you. Here we go. Let's see what you get. <laughs> Half previous packs bulls. Uh, it's bad, but it was only $1.75. So you're not losing too much value there. Not terrible, but obviously you were looking for something good. I was. All right. My final wheel spin. Let's see if it 
can it add something to the lead? Let's see. Come on. You got to believe, guys. Here it comes. We need some value just in case he pulls something big. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness. That was close. Oh, choose one unopened pack from opposing player's pool and half the value pulled. All right. What do you got left, Rev? Show me your packs. We got Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars. Okay, so here's where it's tough. So like, if you pull Evolving Skies, you pull something crazy. If I half it, it doesn't matter, you still win. Cause I'm like the Moonbrion's worth like 500. So it's gonna be 250, you're gonna win with that. It's the lower end stuff. It's like halving, I don't know. I, I'm tempted to, to half the Brilliant Stars because maybe there's, I don't know. It's probably the same port. You know what? I'm, a, I'm halving Evolving Skies. That would be stupid not to do it. Evolving Skies it is. Interesting. I, I liked where you were going with that on Brilliant Stars though, because one thing is that Brilliant Stars, you can get two pulls. Evolving Skies, you can't get two pulls. Oh, I didn't. Oh, man. See, that's where my, my lack of Pokemon knowledge. No, no, no. You were on the right track. I mean, either way, like you could, this could be, we could have an alt art in here. Probably not. <laughs> I'm trying to. If you do, it'd be crazy. It'd be great. I'm trying to. The Molga, slag off. Scroll of the Flying Dragon in an Entei Hollow. That, that might be a dollar. That might be. Probably not, though. All right. My second to last pack is another Tactical Masters. It's been kind of a uh, kind of meager pulls from my side. I've just had great wheel luck so far, and that's kind of helped us win. Let's see if I could turn that around right here. Imperial Iron Wall. We got Runic Slumber. Come on. Let's go. Runic Flashing Fire. Just a super rare. Oh, man. Another dud. It is on to the final two packs. What Your final pack's Brilliant Stars. I don't know uh, if I've told you. I have a Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack, so I'm going to be saving that. You go ahead and uh, you go ahead and go first. Let's see what you can make a comeback and take the lead. Actually, no. Actually, this is all we'll do it. All right, because I'm ahead, I'm going to go before Rev so we could have the chance to win on the final pack. I have a Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. It's, it's a reprint, so it's about 16 bucks, so it's not anything too crazy, but it could have a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's see, Tripwire Beast, small lead. We could extend it here. Really, it's all or nothing with these. They're either worth money or they're not. Hitatsumi Giant, the 13th Grave, Flame Ghost Rare, and after this could be our foil. Let's see if it's a common or not. We have a Yorabi Common, so that means it's all coming down to Rev. How much value do you think I need, roughly? You need a little bit over seven bucks to win right here, which you got two chances in that pack. You got the uh, Trainer Gallery and then the regular foil, so it could happen. Please, brilliant stars. I'm feeling the nerves. I'm feeling the pressure. What do you think? What do you think? I don't feel good. I feel like you're going to just whip something crazy out right here. You think so? <laughs> I, I do. I do. I feel like no. that. All right, maybe, 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 maybe. That All was right. like a no of, yeah, I know it's going to happen. Oh, no, dude. I swear. If there's something ridiculous. All right, Electabuzz. Can I come back in the final moment or will I be defeated? All right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. The next card could be something, and the one after that could be something. All right, card number one. Oh! Oh, no! No! The oh. Lord Trainer! Oh. oh, the last pack! I should have had this one! I was thinking to have it! No! Ah. no dude. <laughs> what a huge blunder! You still got one more card! I do, I do, I do. Okay, I don't know the value on top of my head, but I that might be, that might be enough. All right, Nagar Chomp regular Ooh. hollow. Oh, the halfing is going to be the difference. If I had oh, halved it. No. <laughs> halved it. Oh, no. All right. This is the moment of truth. We're going to click on this, and we're going to see what the value is. This will determine the winner. Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no. Wait. <laughs> How much is it? I don't know. It's a 620. I don't. This person, get them off of here. 625. Is that enough? That's not enough. Okay. Yeah, 625. No. no. What's the next person? The next person, 798. Oh no. Are they verified? Is the bottom one verified? They're apparently they are fully verified. Yes. What's their name? What's their TCG name? BD Cards and Comics. No. BD Cards and Comics. Yes. You're so clutch. If we didn't have that, I would have lost. The next seller would have won. No. It. Oh, you. You, you literally cannot get closer me. than that. You literally cannot get closer than that. That is insane. All right. That was super fun. We didn't actually pull any crazy cards, but. It was actually still really close, which I think is what made it fun. Pokerev, uh, I had a great time. Thank you for hopping on for this inaugural episode of who knows what this will be. I mean, whatever this video is going to be called. It's, it was fun. It was cool. Thanks for having me on. That was a close one, but you came out with the W. 
the goat, Ruxin. Well, I had to get my revenge for all those times on those streams where you would just destroy me in Pokemon pack battles because you'd whip out hidden fates and all that stuff and pull all those full arts. So I'm I feel like I'm still doing it now. You know, still pulling those packs that have the double yeah. banger potential. <laughs> yeah, but I gave you a limit on your value this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to limit me this time. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And make sure to check out Pokerev on all his stuff. Uh, you already know who he is. He's, he's famous. So see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.